Hi everyone, um, today I'd like to give you a little review about the designer. I don't know if any of you have heard of it. Designer is a software that basically lets you um, transform if you have a website with lots of posts, if you're owning a blog um, and you want to publish an ebook um, and create an ebook to sell or to give away as a free tool or if you want to give it as a, uh, as a way to like call new customers, new leads, create more traffic so you give it away as a gift for signing up and subscribing to your website. This is what Designer does. Basically, it helps you to um, create an ebook in just a few minutes. I heard uh, about it, um, it was about three weeks ago through a review of a colleague of mine. I decided to have a, a little look at it because I wanted, uh, I was looking for a software tool um, actually write ebooks. Um, I have an iMac, uh, I know I can do it with the Mac, uh, you can create uh, also on a PDF format, there's various ways where one can um, create an, a book or an ebook. Uh, but to be honest, I guess I was looking for the cheapest way to go around it and uh, not just the cheapest, the quickest, excuse me, way to go around it. So I had um, um, a scene designer, I read the review and I decided to look at it myself. This is what the designer first page uh, um, will look like if you search on the internet and you type uh, designer.io this is what you're gonna get so designer they tell you they transform your blog post podcast videos PDF uh, into um, ebooks um, so that you can use the you know the ebook whatever form you uh, you need it for I use it as I said as a simple tool as a to to give a thank you for for people that subscribe to my website and uh, I've created uh, it was just a little freebie that I wanted to do and in the same time I am actually creating a bigger um, book which I will eventually sell when it's finished but for now it was like a little trial and that's why I use designer now the first page they will explain everything creating fresh content is hard and they give you the little uh, pitch about how you can create um basically like i said ebooks from uh, in a matter of minutes really now let me log in uh, into my uh, site since i have actually bought the the, the the, the program the software and we can see what you do once you get inside the software now um here we are um you can see uh let me okay um this is once you log in this is your website and you will see projects and draft um there is an upgrade button on the right hand side which tells you if you want to upgrade what do you have to they always remind you how you can upgrade or not and uh, help and documentation which um, tells you everything about how you can get started they have little mini courses and tutorials about the software which is fairly easy to um, to use not a hundred percent easy you know it's not like a click and it's done because i'm still finding my way around it if i am honest but it is easy enough and uh, I had a couple of times I had to ask a question because I didn't know uh, how to use a few things and the support, um, they got back to me within a day, so maximum 24 hours and they were back to me with no problem at all. Now, um, I want to give you a little example how you can... Um, create a website oh, sorry create an ebook using designer first of all you will go into um, create a new project here you go on the right hand side and you will see here you have step one the project details uh, the two is the templates the three is the summary the project name I will um, make up um, okay uh, ebook sample test one i'm just you know call it anything now the interesting thing about it is you can choose the source you can import if you have a website and you want to import um something from your website you can do that you can import from a word document within your computer you can import from a pdf if you have a pdf format in your computer you can actually create an empty project 
go on Facebook and import uh, a content for your ebook from Facebook. You can import manually. Create a new draft completely. So start typing directly on uh, uh, design and create your ebook from there. You can merge different drafts and uh, PDF to Flipbook and even import uh, from an audio and a video. Now, I would like to say I bought the course, uh, uh, sorry, the platform uh, and I paid $27 for it, which was the basic. Within the basic, you don't get everything. I can actually import from the URL, which is what I needed to do and import from a word. I can um, create a new draft, but if I want to import from a PDF, here you go, you can see here, uh, I need to upgrade to the Pro Designer um, feature if I want to import from a PDF. If I want to import from Facebook, I haven't done it before, okay, apparently I can, but I'm not going to do this now because I haven't tested it yet, not Facebook anyway. Um, and uh, let me see. Uh, Okay, I think I've gone to, let me see, import from select post a month ago, comments, say one more, more comments, uh, let's see what's coming up, search, uh, the profile, a pay, best page URL, okay, let's go back because uh, I, I could put my page on Facebook, but I don't think I really have that much material on Facebook. I'm not a super fan of Facebook myself. So for those of you that got lots of stuff on Facebook, you can definitely use it, even with the free form. Now, if I'm going back to the basic one, I was saying, so we can import from Facebook. I can definitely import manually. I can do a new draft. I cannot merge drafts on the basic again here they ask me to um, upgrade and i believe the pdf to flipbook exactly is the same you have to upgrade so goes for the import and audio or video file you have to upgrade so my 27 dollars give me an access to import from a url from a word create an empty project import from Facebook, which I just found out now, import manually and new draft. Now, let's, uh, to give you probably the people that will uh, um, use this, uh, they will uh, do it from, um, from a website. Uh, let me see, let's go on a website. Obviously, I'm not gonna publish this book, but um, I'm gonna see if I find, uh, I don't know, um, uh, cars, um, expensive cars, I don't know, expensive cars, let's type this, came up top of, okay, the most expensive car in the world, the 10 most expensive cars and their celebrity owners, okay, let's have a look at this one, we have a website, okay, this is the website and they talk about different cars, now, to explain exactly what the what, um, designer does, we take the address, which is at the top. Obviously, I'm doing this as a sample. Please don't go and copy the um, post of somebody else. It has to be your own material, obviously, uh, if you're going to use it. Now, I'm just using it as an example. I'm not going to publish it. I'm not going to do anything, so it should be okay. Now, if I'll go back to import as a URL, that's where we go. Choose a, um, import from the URL. We've chosen the URL goes here. We pasted the URL and I click import. It takes a few, literally, probably less than a minute to import, but it does take um, maybe a minute, maybe two. It depends on, okay, this was quite fast. Now, um, the second step is to choose a template on the $27, uh, which is the lifetime access. That's the promotion that I used. Uh, they give you quite a few templates. You can choose between standard or two column. Let's say I want to go two column, two column template. 
and it will show me some of the templates that I can use if I want to use standard which is one template okay looking for something that maybe could look like a car obviously at the moment nothing that would go with cars but we can always change the cover at the end okay let's go this one London I speak London so we pick our template which could be the cover for the book but then again once you are inside you can edit it and change that cover and now we click next now ideally the best thing for you to do is not to go straight to the book but to save as a draft the reason I'm saying save as a draft because in here you see exactly all the things that we imported from the article from the website but if you save it as a draft you can always go back later and it is easier to change rather than click the next button directly without saving it first as a draft now let's go next oh forgot sorry we didn't give a name to the project so car um I'm gonna call it ebook one next and now designer is creating the ebook um, here you go that's exactly how your ebook will look you see it comes up with the title obviously here you can correct and put your own title and uh, everything comes up exactly like you could want an ebook to be and it's basically ready you can change it you can add stuff you can add a call to action if at the end um, you want a call to action here you go you can uh, I can import it here okay here it says welcome to designer but you could change that you could edit that and say um, uh, visit our oh, whoops sorry This is me going too fast or maybe or maybe too slow obviously you can see I'm not very good typer hmm. you could type uh, visit our website at www whatever and uh, here you go this is your ebook that has been created now you can save it we save it now just to give you a little um, show you how it works you can if you decide uh, that you want to change this uh, and have it um, the textile uh, if you if the text is you don't like the text but you want to have it like that you can change it you don't like the color you want a different color for the fonts here you go and the same thing goes for everything in the book that has been created here you're going to put your name if you want the um let's see the background in this case the background color i believe is kind of dark if i wanted the background to be blue which obviously is not going to go very well with <laughs> the, the the fonts that we're using but all i'm saying is you can do whatever you want you can change it you can make it a different color and this is how you basically edit page by page all of your book let's save it again and then you could go into publish on the um 27 dollar you can publish it only as a pdf if you wanted to um sell it like up, uh, upload it then for a kindle format or epub or even a e html you need to upgrade to a different version but i'm only on the pdf i'm gonna export that designer is creating the um the book and basically in a few seconds the book is ready and all you have to do is um, here you go let me just shrink it so you can see it better that's your ebook and that's the ebook that you can um, my computer is a bit slow but that's the ebook that you can basically uh, give as a gift to your customer and that was done in less than uh, minutes i hope you enjoyed um, 
the review and I'm gonna go and do a second video after this one since I'm very slow to tell you a little bit more about some of the features and the prices of designer.